Okay, sit over there. Whilst I do some work. Sit there. Good girl. No, you can't get in the way of the exercise whilst I'm filming. I know it's cute. So guys, today I'm filming all the exercises for home for two. There's about 50 exercises I need to do. I'm on exercise four out of 50. And I don't mind Pickles being in the video, but she can't obstruct the exercise. So it's gonna be a long afternoon. <laughs> What can I do? Oh, in slight disbelief, but I have filmed all the exercises for Home Fit 2. It's like 52 new exercises in Home Fit 2, so that was a lot of filming. Started slow because of pickle. I locked her out and got this done because now I have eight minutes until my next live workout, 6 p.m. And this is an extraction workout. Have you guys seen Extraction with Chris Hemsworth on Netflix? I'm doing a little uh, paid live workout to promote this film because I bloody love that film. I saw it the last weekend, it was amazing. Um, so this live workout is gonna be full of punching, kicking, rolling, um, and that starts in seven minutes. Better get to it. The live workout went well. That was a big day for my knee. My knee's feeling a bit sore now, but fueling up on this bad boy, salmon, potatoes, broccoli, and some little onion sauce. Oh, what day is it? Welcome to Wednesday. Um, this morning started with a live workout outside. Good start to the day. Now I'm having lunch. We've got sweet potato, fries, vegetables, and chicken. Um, spent the rest of the morning just dealing with this app issue, this app error is taking hours to sort out. Um, don't ever go into software development. It's a big pain in the ass, it caused me a lot of stress, but it's all worth it in the end. Oh, one hell of a day today. Um, had a good couple of meetings. Just had my mastermind meeting with my boys where we have monthly accountability and catch up, which is good. Um, tonight I have a, um, a family quiz we're hosting, so I've got to finish the questions for that. Um, yeah, I've, I've just spent so much time dealing with this app error with lots of emails. It's put all of my other work behind, so I've just got to spend some time catching up with everything now. Today I just had an exciting call with um, some of my team about merchandise. The thing is, is that, you know, that I've I've had a crop fit t-shirt for the past few years, haven't really pushed it very hard, just getting rid of the last stock now. Um, and I've always considered not just clothing, but also accessories and workout equipment. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead with this, but there's a lot to consider, a lot to think about, but comment underneath what you think and what you'd like to have CrocFit kettlebells, CrocFit dumbbells, CrocFit water bottles, CrocFit um, mats and things like that. So comment underneath what you think and what you'd like, um, starting the conversations about this and it's really exciting. Coming to the end of today's workout now, with Sarah in the garden, back in the garden too. Um, getting in a good routine, trying to with the home fit workout and then adding on a quick circuit of resistance training with weights and stuff after that. Saturday night, cheat meal, big fuel up, got burger, chips and cookies. And tomorrow I'm gonna talk a lot more in depth about how to manage cheat meals and still make progress. So it's Sunday afternoon and we've got to the part of the video that actually refers to the title. So if you've got this far, then thank you so much for watching through my week to get to this actual point. And I wanted to talk about this and cheat meals especially um, because I'm going through a little experimentation of my own. And basically I got myself into incredible shape before Easter. Then I had a massive binge in Easter, lost some of my conditioning. Um, and then since Easter, I've been doing this process and it's working really really well and it's something that I already knew about but just haven't really um, worked it in because sometimes I'm being really strict and just focus on the same calorie amount every single day um, and being consistent with that really works but if I wanted to feed in a weekly cheat meal or a weekly feed up uh, what I used to do is just track my calories and nutrition six days of the week and then one day I just go binge hard um, without counting without tracking and what happens there is I actually make zero progress at all because all the hard work that I've done in six days gets ruined in the one day because I binge too hard and have too many calories. So what I've been doing recently, which is working really well, is having that same feed up day or evening or cheat meal, whatever you want to call it, 
but track it still and be a little bit more thoughtful in the approach that I have whilst being relaxed, whilst eating what I want, but counting it and tracking it. So <clears throat> think of it with a bit more of a scientific approach, calories in versus calories out. If you're talking about this calorie deficit and maintenance, I'm sure you've seen it a million um, times, but let's just remind ourselves on it, is that if I have a calorie deficit for six days of the week and then on the seventh day I have 10,000 calories, I reckon I won't finish the week on a calorie deficit anymore. That's exactly how it works. I'm gonna go through a little process with you with how I've been calculating my process. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Step one, what you need to do is find your calorie goal per day. So you can do this really easily on like website calculators and stuff. I use this TDEE calculator, uh, which can help you find your maintenance calories or deficit or surplus, whatever your goal is. When you get that number, for example, 2,600 is my goal for daily calorie. That is a deficit, a small deficit to help me lose body fat and gain muscle. Okay, that's my number that I want every single day. What you can do with that is step two, Find your weekly calorie goal. All you need to do is take that number, times it by seven. So I now know that my weekly calorie goal is 18,200. That's 2,600 times seven. 18,200 is my weekly calorie goal. That's how many calories that I want to have in seven days, continuously. Step three, do the math to make daily variations. So for example, if I want one cheat day, which has way more calories than all the others, I need to take calories away each day from my daily 2,600. So for example, I could have daily 2,400 calories on six days of the week. That's taken, two, that's like, think of it as like a, a bank balance. I've taken 200 calories a day in credit for myself to use on that one day. Adding to that seventh day now makes 3,800 calories that I've worked up for myself on that day. You can do this with any variation that you want. You can make this a little bit um, more steep to make your, your uh, cheat day even bigger if you want, but there's limitations to that because you don't want to be too restrictive on those days. Um, or you could have Saturday and Sunday as cheat day um, rather than just one. So you could actually split this, um, th this 3,800 surplus into two days if you want. You can do whatever variations that you want that fits your lifestyle and what you want to do. Um, this works incredibly well because when you've had that 3,800, you may not feel great the next day. You may feel may you've um, like gained a bit of water weight, etc. But on the long term going, you are still maintaining your calorie goal. You're not gonna gain any fat by doing that and you're gonna continue in the right direction. The only problem is when you're, when you're having a cheat day or a cheat meal, weekend, whatever, I know for a fact when I don't track and I think I can eat whatever I want, it's unlimited. It's not 3,800, it's more like 5,000, 10,000 calories. When I eat and I want to eat good, <laughs> I can really go for it. And the thing is, 3,800 calories, as an example, is an amazing amount of food. You could really enjoy a takeaway meal, have some cookies, some chocolate, have a drink, have some whiskey, and like, like it, makes, it makes sense of the word balance. Everything in moderation. And this is it on a bit more of a number, scientific approach. Um, and it's working incredibly well for me. So. The same applies if you're also looking to gain muscle, to gain weight. The same applies in the fact that if you have a day where you just don't eat hardly anything at all, you need to make up for those calories on the next day because you're not just looking for daily calorie goal, it's your weekly, monthly, yearly. The way that you make results happen is from being consistent, not just thinking about the day, oh, that's that day done, move on to the next. It's thinking about being consistent over the week over the month, and that's what so many people do wrong, is that they can't keep at it for long term, so that they are not able to build muscle, and sometimes their weight loss journeys or fat loss journeys um, don't go very well either because of that consistency. So um, I know so many of you don't track calories or macros, which is absolutely fine, but if you hit a plateau and you can't push past it, then I do recommend doing an approach like this. Um, you could also, if you don't need cheat days or cheat weekends, that's absolutely fine as well. You don't have to do this approach. I just quite enjoy having a bit of a feed up in the weekend. Um, you could just have 2,600 calories every single day 
um, onwards if you enjoy that and of course if that's your calorie goal because that's mine um, in the link in the caption I'll put the link for you for the TDE calculator that I use um, that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching up to this point give this video a thumbs up if you found this little section um, interesting and useful for you I know lots of people on Instagram are asking for this if you're not following me on Instagram then please do also follow me on TikTok um, I'm posting lots of funny cool videos there as well um, give this video a thumbs up like I said click subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week bye bye